I am I am Tara Prasad Das. Uh, I come from L. V. Prasad I in Sud, Hyderabad, in India. Diabetes is emerging to be a very major uh, lifestyle and lifelong problem, and we have a lot of estimates from WHO, and uh, we say that in India, currently 65 million people are diabetic, and it might grow to 80 million by another few years. Now, one of the important component of diabetes in the body is the retinopathy that affects the eye. In the eye affects many organs, but then retina is the most important organ that are affected. And the immediate, uh, reacts, immediate effect is the reduction of vision. No, luckily, diabetic, uh, diabetes affects the eye after 5-7 years of uh, diabetes in the body, which means that there is, a, there is a strong possibility of preventing or delaying retinopathy in the eye. But once it happens, it goes a relentless course from a non-vision threatening retinopathy to a vision threatening retinopathy. And one that happens then require uh, luckily many forms of treatment. Today we can inject an anti vgf and it just reduce the diabetic macular edema or we can uh, treat by do a laser treatment to uh, prevent further progression of the eye. We did this wonderful study. We look at the data of our own data of 10 years ago diabetic presentation and, and today. We published a couple of years ago. We say that today many patients, many people come to the LV Prasad Eye Institute with a so called lesser form of retinopathy called non proliferative diabetic retinopathy. But in contrast to what is written in the book that these people have a better vision, 73% of the people have, did not have good vision. And that's because there is something called a macular edema, central retina swelling. And most of the time, these patients are also had hypertension. Now, diabetes has got few friends, uh, hypertension and lipid. Unless they are also equally controlled, then diabetic retinopathy cannot be controlled. Thanks to development of science, we have today very effective drugs called anti vgf There are many companies, many are available in the, in the world. The good part is that, that by, by injection, the swelling comes down, vision improves, the patient is happy. But the bad part is that it is not a one-time solution, it requires many injections over a period of time. Usually, typically, uh, injection like anti vgf requires eight times in the first year, four times in the second year, two times in the third, two times in the third year. So, a frequent visit to the hospital is an impediment to the patient's uh, well-being. But in this country, mostly, patients come with relative. So the indirect cost of the patients relative coming, wage loss for the day, then spending the part of the day in the hospital is becoming more expensive than treatment itself. Is there a way that your treatment can be confined to one or two therapy, like a cataract surgery, one time surgery, then patient benefit a lot. But we talk about mostly the urban centrics. Now diabetes is not urban centric, it's also rural centric. Just two days ago there's a wonderful publication in Lancet talks about how the so-called rural areas are also affected. 12 percent of diabetes happens in rural area, 16 percent in urban area, not, not much difference. But the facility that we have in urban centric places is not available in a rural area. So how do you reach people? Reaching one time might be easy, but you have to reach 10 times in a year, and then for several years becomes a, becomes a challenge. So hopefully, while the science might work to develop a newer method of treatment, like today we are talking about how do we a different delivery system where the drug can be work in the eye for instead of one month for six months, let's say. At the same time, Government of India is working on how to do it. We have working with uh, very closely with the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust. We are creating a model of the NCD clinics. Now, Government of India has put a lot of NCD clinics where patients are required to come every month or every week to get the drug. There is an opportunity where actually you can screen the patients with a low cost, uh, non dilating non mediatic fundus camera, and the, which photo, the picture of that can be telecast to, to another larger center where you can identify the diabetic retinopathy so that it comes down. The opportunity cost of treatment is very high because if you see 100 diabetics, then uh, Roughly 30 of them will have retinopathy. To, to see the 30, you have to examine 100 becomes not very cost effective. Different models have been created. One using larger van with a ISRO kind of a satellite. 
or to or do we go to the doctor or go to physicians and get examined but ultimately we found that using this low cost non mitratic camera and and telemedicine is a better way of uh, suspecting or confirming retinopathy so we are working in the model and we are working in the 11 states uh, nine states in 11 11 uh, locations where again this model can be created which can be transferred to government of india or different state governments where the effective screening and treatment of retinopathy can happen. We will come out with the results in maybe in a two years time and that time by hopefully this model will help a lot. The challenge of reaching the unreached is most probably addressed by one of these many ways it can happen. Similarly, we also there is a problem in the screening of diabetic people because many will not know that they are diabetic. Funded by the World Diabetic Federation, we did a study in one of the districts in Andhra Pradesh to find the use a different way and we actually use the school children taught them how to go and work in our community as a science project to detect new diabetes talking with the elders getting a sample of blood or urine mostly urine to detect diabetes so there are many ways we can do it the challenges are that how do we reach people how do we screen people when you screen people how do you treat them how to see there is compliance with the drug because it is not a one time treatment because it requires long treatment. Let us say tuberculosis is 6 months, but diabetes is a, your whole life because you will die with the, to go to the grave with the diabetes. So, these are the different challenges and Ali Prasad is working with different organization, World Diabetic Federation, International Diabetic Federation, Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust and our own program to find out. Luckily, we are also present in 146 villages as a permanent vision centers where we see roughly 20-25 patients a day and there we use all these kind of new technology devices where every day the images are transferred to larger centers in a four larger cities that we are present where we actually suspect diabetes and get it. And these patients go to the next level called a secondary center to a tertiary center like that. So we have created a model in our own. Hopefully this model will, will be another interesting way of looking at, at the challenges. Ali Prasad Eye Institute contribution to eye care can be measured by differently. Now, we are uh, just not a service organization, though we serve uh, in the last 30 years, we have served 22 million people. But, but interestingly, uh, or more important, we have trained uh, thousands of people in eye care delivery and also taught many people. And we are working in a, while we work in a, only three states in India, but we actually helped in uh, directly, we helped in directly nine other states uh, in India and also helping some of these African countries in uh, creating a model for uh, sustainable, affordable, accessible and available eye care in the wherever you are. We instead of doing uh, one off eye cam, we decided that we will go to the community and stay there 24-7, 365 so that uh, healthcare, eye care particularly can be more accessible. Recognition of all these things, uh, we have received, uh, we recognize many people, but then importantly, today, uh, this afternoon, uh, we are recognized by the OPPI for the health access for the year 2017, and we are very grateful to the organization for recognizing us. This kind of recognition actually helps us to want to believe us that what we are doing is the correct thing we are doing, and also inspires us to go the right way, right track.